Okay, so this is a recap of how you would do a um, full side in a flow of the side line massage class. And I'm going to just briefly go through it. I'm not going to go through the details, but I'll show you kind of a um, brief summary so you can see how the whole thing flows together. So, um, you can do some palming along the inside of the thigh. We also did some specific work. You can do some forearms along here. We also did some kind of kneading with the hamstrings. We also did some insertion work with the adductors. You can use flat knuckles. We also did um, some specific work holding the insertions, finding them, supporting the leg, asking the client to gently lift the leg up towards the sky and release. You can also do some crisscross at the insertions. We also did some integrating. And I'm also going to quickly review if we're going to do some seated work. Making sure there's space so that you can come up with grace. And come in using specific use of your sits bones. While you're here, you can also choose to do some engage, disengage. So, Carrie, lift your leg up into me and release. And of course, this is a kind of fast forward summary, so make sure you take more time. And we also did. Some nice palming along here. You can also use your forearms to do some work along the thighs, hamstrings, and IT band. It's also something you can do up on the table, which I'll show you. Also, if you've got somebody whose leg tends to slide, you can half nail like this. And get some work this way. And do some specific work with lift your knee into my, and release. Squeeze down into the pillow and release. You can also drop your body back get some nice work underneath the hamstring and doing some of the insertions. You can also hold the insertions and have them bend their knee towards their bum and release. And do some palming to integrate. Now I'm going to show you how to do some skin to skin lotion work. Bringing them up for draping. Making sure they're well tucked. So here's some nice riding techniques. I'm just going to kind of do it briefly. More detailed instructions available with the full video or with
with one of the um, sample clips. So crisscross forearms. Being sure to use your body to help distribute that. Also, more specific work. This is also a great position to do some work with uh, chin splints. You can also do some nice specific calf work. Even with your forearms, you can have them both engage and disengage their foot, so flex your foot carry and release. You could also move it for them. You could also do some specific engage, disengage while working the hamstring. But here is also great around the um, head of the trochanter. You could really spend some nice time doing specific work, finding a spot. Carry slowly, bring your knee into the pillow, squeeze and release. And you can also have, lift your knee up to the sky and release. And also keep your knee in the same place and slowly rotate so that your foot and ankle come off the pillow. And then slowly down. Excellent. I'll redrape her during this part. So, so now I can do some work with lotion with the straight leg. You can come up, Lacey, if you want. So you could do some specific work through here with the calf. It's a great position, also through the thigh. But the one thing that's really unique to the side line with the lotion is having one hand on the other, one side of the IT band and the other on the other, like this. So the IT band will be here. Reach up. If I want to end with a little traction, it's a great way to work with that. Transitioning up to work some more hip flexors and lower back. Beginning more with some psoas work. Okay, so stack your hips a little bit more for me, Carrie. Great. So I'm going to slowly, if you're going to do this, take this really much, sl much slower than you're going to see now. I'm going to really kind of just um, gently walk you through it, but you're going to be exploring in through here. You may have them squeeze down their knee, and you may have them release. You may have them lift, and you may have them release. You may also, while you're engaging in here, have them slide their knee towards their chest and release. As part of the transition, you're going to follow up like if the iliac crest is a bowl, it's like you're going to follow up on the inside of the bowl, do some more specific work, bring it around to start to work the lower back and the quadratus lumborum. So some of the areas that you can work through there, you can find some tender zones and you can have them hike their hip up towards their shoulder. So move your hip towards your shoulder, Carrie. Yep and release. You can also find some tender zones and have them um, rotate their um, pelvis in different circles. So rotate, yeah, almost the way a belly dancer would. That really helps to open things up nicely. Great, Carrie, thank you. Um, when trans at, after doing some thorough work through there, 
you may wish to do some gliding work with lotion. I, for ease of purpose, just drape like this. You can do some gliding, some specific thumb work. Even coming down around the SI joints nice. So here, you can also smooth out around that iliac crest where you did more specific work. If you wanted to, you could do some gliding along the spine with it undraped in the back. Let me show you some more transitioning up towards the shoulder. So if I work that more thoroughly, you can then do some just softening of the ribs and spine. You can also do some palming. On, here's the spine, so I'm closer to the ceiling, palming along the erectors. Great. Carrie, move your back more towards me, not your butt, but your uh, upper body. So lift, lift this and bring it back. Thanks, that's great. Okay, so bring your arm out. Let's see. The drape is nice and secure with her. Here comes some uh, shoulder and scapular rotations. So I'll scoop her and I'll use the um, drape to keep stability. And explore all kinds of rotations, some lengthening with the neck. I can also do palpation in here and underneath the, cl the clavicle. I like to use the drape. And all through here, it feels really nice. I can also work underneath the scapula and also depending on the size of the breast tissue of your client, you may also do some sternum work. And you can also move a little more forward for me, Carrie, towards me, your whole upper body. More? Good. Okie dokie. I'm having this. There we go. You can also get underneath the scapula from the front of the body and rock towards. Like that. And kind of scoop underneath and rock towards. Show that. Lift your knee a little bit for me. Support her more like that. And then you can do some nice motion. Lengthening, both helping the shoulder and the neck. Let you see, just gently supporting here. Shrug your shoulder towards your ear and release. Good. And again, and release. And you can do more specific work through here with some lotion. both shortening and lengthening as you hold various trigger points. You can even bring some up to where it joins the jaw. Lift your head a little bit, Carrie. There you go. You can also do scalene work up here. Doing some more specific. I'm not using a lot of deep pressure here, but to give you just as a help review. And from this position, you can also do nice work in the face the energy lines of the head, and then you can kind of tap the whole body feel by finishing up with some nice work with the arms, including forearm work, doing some hand work. You can also do the inside of this arm. And then usually a nice way you can, if you want to integrate with some longer strokes, 
drop forward. You could even just kind of end with some more nurturing long strokes. Just to kind of add to the young factor. And also a really nice way too is you could maybe, you know, even end the session doing some footwork down here. Now ideally in a session, you know, I would do the full side, have them turn, and do the full other side therapeutically, and then end in whatever you know, way you wanted to, whether it be the feet or the long strokes. You know, you may even choose to end with just kind of gently, you know, therapeutically holding the scalp. I'll leave that up to you, and that's uh, a full body recap of what you learn in the magic of sideline massage.